Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we, yeah, I got the boon here. We went ahead and continued on through Area 4. We fought the, uh, or the Toy Soldiers, that's what the name, I was going to call them the Clockwork Boys for some reason. <laughs> But anyways, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and explore the rest of the mansion. We've got a couple of keys that are going to lead us to different places throughout the second floor, I think. Or I think we've got one in the second floor and one in the uh, basement. Oh wait, no, not in the basement, I guess third floor? Yeah, there we go. So I'll go with the second floor one first, and then I'll head through the third floor, because I think that... The third floor one will meet, lead to more stuff, whereas the second floor room j is just sort of a closed off thing. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and get some water from the bathroom real quick, or the washroom. Because I'm going to need it. I think... You know what, I think uh, that... Uh, I might have missed the last ruby from that speedy spirit that I missed a couple episodes back because I think I got the last emerald and I think I'm about to get the last sapphire. This is the sitting room. Not very dramatic sounding, but you know, we'll work with it. That gives us a gold bar. Now is it here or no, it's not in here. There's another room that we need to wait for water for that's a weird thing to say wait for water for maybe i need to thank th thankfully there's water in here so i'm gonna go ahead and i think there's something that i need to set on fire it's definitely not those oh it's probably the candles up here duh there we go There we go, I finally got three and one for once. I guess it's just shy guy ones are harder to do that with. I'm also very low on HP, so I appreciate those hearts. And we're already back up to 98. So that's water, so I'm gonna... Wait, that's fire, so I'm gonna go for water. Thankfully, this room, unlike previous rooms with elemental ghosts, actually provide us with the element that we need in order to get that. So... So first of all, I'm gonna get this boo. Olivia. I guess it's a pun on Olivia. Ah, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't like your pun name. Come back here. Okay, you're back in there. There we go. He's dealt with. We got 43 boos, and I think we'll get a 44th in the, this room over here. Now, I don't think there's anything else in here that we need to get, so we're going to head on over to this. Do not try to wake me. Go away! I give these characters weirdly deep voices. Don't set the plant on fire. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, this room is a bit weird, as you can clearly see. First, I'm going to water this plant upside down. Or can I even? I guess I can't do that. I'm going to spray water at this ghost girl, which will wake her up. I think I have to do it three times. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe those noises. I could probably do a better job if I got a proper look at those, at the weird noises that she made, but you know what? I just based those. I just based those noises off of instinct. I just. My brain just said make any possible noises that sound weird and so my brain just did that I guess we got a, a green chest right there 
And so you may be wondering, how do we get to it? And how do we water this plant if everything's upside down? So you want to leave the room real quick. And it's back to normal. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, and hey, a diamond. Got all of you. So before I get the boo, I'm going to water this plant. Because that gives us a sapphire. There we go, that's Sapphire number 9. Possibly the last one. I forget exactly how many of those are in the game. Boo in this painting right here. Boo Nita. Not really sure about that one. Every time I don't really understand or approve of the puns, they always leave. Come on, get back in here. There we go. I've actually got one out in the hallway. Typically, whenever I fight a boo in the hallway, it, it's always super annoying and weird, and it usually, you know, takes a while to fight, and it doesn't really, really, really take any HP. So next, we're going to head up to the third floor because we've done pretty much everything we need to do on the second floor. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's everything. Except for this room, which I'm not sure what that's about. If I remember in editing, I'll go ahead and remind myself. Back on the balcony. I believe the door is the one in the bottom left that we're supposed to open. I think the top left one is a fake door. Yep, this is the armory. Now here in the armory, uh, you have to check these armor statues, or these, uh, the armors, and see if there's any ghosts in them. I think you also have to check these chests as well, because I think that the ghosts can sometimes hide there. Yep, like this one. I think with some of these armor statues, if you press them, yeah, they'll swing their little mace down. So you gotta be careful of that whenever you're checking an armor. Try to get it from the side or from the back. I failed at that one. There we go, okay. How about you? I'm gonna just do that. You know what, I'll try that. Now, as we're moving on here, you'll see there are more mixtures of ghosts. Like before, we would typically see like the same type of ghost throughout rooms. But now we're seeing mixtures of all sorts, like one of each ghost. We're seeing gold ghosts in later areas when they're more of like a first couple of rooms type of ghost. Like right here. This is one of the last rooms in the game. And so, why is why are the basically the Goombas of this game appearing? Well, that is because of something that I will explain a little bit later. Now, where is this last ghost? Oh, we've got a mirror right over here, by the way. So if you need to warp back down to the first floor, you can go ahead and do that. Did I? Okay, I checked you. Checked you. Oh, did I not check this? Yeah, sorry. I don't know why, it's just my brain blocked out that chest for some reason. There we go. And we get a key. Now, if... I might be mis mistaken, but I think multiple boos are in here. Or maybe I'm thinking of... I often get the third floor and the basement mixed up because they're both like, if you look at the layout, they both have hallways with like two doors on each side. They both are like similar, I don't know why exactly my brain gets it mixed up, 
But this is going to be a bit of a tedious section where you go back and forth with uh, with going back upstairs to the third floor and then back downstairs to the cellar or the basement floor, I guess. That's a bomb. Underboo's making a comeback. Oh wait, actually, this is a door I can go through. I forgot that's not a fake door. Cool. <laughs> Sorry if this last, these last couple of episodes of Luigi's Mansion feel a bit rushed. It's just that, you know, with so much going on, I don't want to waste your guys' time. And a lot of this is just going back and forth or like waiting for something to happen and so i just want to try to cut that out as much as possible now i'm gonna go to the uh jar room over here i forget the actual name ceramic studio that's a much better name you want to get out the ice and one in one of these jars I don't know if you have to mess with all of the jars, or just with a certain one. Oh! There's a ruby! I didn't even know that was in there. Hey. Oh! There we go. Oi! You! With the mustache! Yeah, you! What do you think of me collect? Okay, this is a horrible Australian accent. What do you think of me- Think of me jar collection, then? Pretty amazing, don't you say? Welly, welly, well, you can't just. We can't just let you look at them for free. Now, can we? No, I think not. If you'd like to view me jars, you'd best change me first. You'd best challenge me first. Fine with me. It's on then. See how many me you can freeze with that, with that ice boyo. Freeze seven of me, then you win. Right, right. But if you lose, mate, it's out the door with you. Right oh, bring it on. Just gotta wait for him to pop up. Hit him with ice. Wait for him to pop up, hit him with ice. This is just gonna repeat until you get seven of them. I don't think he'll appear in a jar that you're facing. So if you want to, you can face downwards. And then he'll only appear in the top ones. The results are... Seven of me. Can't believe it. How could I lose? You made my face red for sure, mustache boy. Maybe you'd fancy getting stuffed in one of these jars here. Suck him up. The jars will come flying off the shelves. Come on. If I get a gold on... Ah, dang it. I don't know if I got a big pearl... Okay, there we go. That is Jarvis down. And hey, that's a diamond. If you guys are wondering why I am surprised whenever I see a uh, as something pop out of the chest when when uh. I have notes with me. That's because I uh, don't write down what exactly I get out of a chest or what exactly I get out of Speedy Spirit. I just write the ones that I can get down. I just write down the ones that I can get by doing other things such as, you know, watering the plant or something like that. Tambourine. That's actually a pretty funny pun. Now, now stay in here, please. I wonder if I keep complimenting them, they'll stay in here. 
You are so cool and round and cool and scary and round and scary. It would be so cool of you if you stayed in my back. Ah, dang it. I guess you could say the boo saw right through me. Because he's a ghost and... Yeah, you know what? My puns aren't as funny. <laughs> okay. Four more boos left. Okay, I've been going for a while now, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and get the last couple of rooms because there are just four rooms left in the entire game and then we're done. So yeah, next week we're definitely going to be finishing up this game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!